Now, here's your host, Tom Dorado. Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Pat Jones Show. Oklahoma State traveled to Columbia, Missouri this past weekend, and the Cowboys ran into a Missouri team, Pat, that did very little wrong and probably played their best all-around game of the year. Missouri, Tom, has been throughout the course of the season a pretty good football team when they don't turn the ball over. The thing that we did, uh, that we have not been doing, is we turned over several times. I think we had three interceptions and lost a fumble. Uh, Missouri did not turn the ball any at all, turn the ball over any at all. We actually, I think, got off 41 passes. We got, we got dug into a hole or dug ourselves into a hole, which really from a maturity standpoint with this football team is not really well equipped to overcome. That's the first time that has occurred to us this year. But you got to give the Missouri people credit. Uh, they had a, they had a, a, a gutsy plan, which we'll see with some with the fake kick and whatnot, and went out there and executed and protected the ball and did the things you've got to do. It's probably the first ball game that we've played this year. I did not think that we came out of it necessarily gaining a lot of ground. Although David Thompson, the young back, played, we did not have Joe Jefferson, mm -hmm. the fullback, or Boogie Johnson, the tailback. And, and not to not to make excuses because you you can't sugarcoat this kind of deal. But on the same hand. Uh, uh, Thompson probably got a little bit better at tailback, which will help to our football team. But I think we're to the point now where we've really got to check our whole card out, and, and, and we got to go on the road to Ames, which we'll talk about a little bit later and play Iowa State. But no, Missouri played well, and we didn't. Well, both teams exactly came out and broke from the gate in a rush, and we will talk about that when first half highlights come up. Pat Jones Show continues after these messages. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. And Pat, there was rain in the air on a homecoming day in Columbia, Missouri. Well, it did rain most of the, most of the afternoon off and on. Pretty good crowd here. Uh, th there's, there's enough tradition involving Missouri football and those things to have a good setting up there. That I thought our guys really were, were anxious to play fr from an uh, excited standpoint, uh, something we had harped on all week long to, to try to make sure we didn't have a, an emotional hangover from that Thursday night uh, close loss to Nebraska here a while back, and, and, and I think we were ready to play most. I don't think that was it. Defensively, we go out. They they open with some little play action, some stuff that, that in all honesty, we kind of expected them to do. Uh, uh, I, we're going to see here in a minute, I thought, a very, very crucial play. You know, they drop this one and uh, set up a short yardage situation, and they try to run the draw. We play it well, knock them back, and they've got fourth down and two from about 35 yard line now this is really gutsy right here we had the guy accounted for with a return uh, you can see 95 there actually that was his man they caught it uh a very very gutsy move on their part to, to take advantage of the thing they get down down on iron to the field run the draw play and and bounce around big old washington here had a a very impressive first half I, this these sorts of things right here we had a little stunt on back to the other side they hit a crack we had expected them to throw the ball virtually every down, and when once they kind of got going, they've got a little bit of running game, probably more than we had anticipated. But once they kind of got us on on our heels here, they throw a flat pass, and, and we don't have it defended very well. But uh, they kind of got us reeling a little bit as far as, as them mixing up the run, and the pass, and I think conversely, we're we're able to to do some things running the ball that. In all honesty, we did not expect and did we not think right they could back, do. Though, well, yeah, from the standpoint of just literally uh, surrendering right in here, we certainly didn't. We, now, David Thompson, 28 in his first start. Uh, Boogie Johnson only played one play. He's got a knee banged up, and we, we did put him in once, and it uh, didn't look very good there. But uh, And Joe Jefferson, the fullback, went in, so Spatz uh, did most of it. This is a little bit different wrinkle here as far as swinging, dancing around, and using him as the pitch man. Tony Jones on the option. Uh, comes in and makes a decent run. Uh, we tried to go a little bit deep on him, and, and okay, got a flag going there. Yeah, all right here, a quarterback draw with Tony, which is something we had to. We continue to add a few things uh, every week with him. We'd put a shuffle pass in, which we're going to see a little bit later on. Uh, the quarterback draw, which with his kind of running ability, has got a chance. It helped us. This was really a pretty good looking effort. Here's a, here's a sneak on short yards. Pretty good effort on our part to drive the ball back down the length of the field. David Thompson on the sprint draw breaks the outside. Almost got loose down the sidelines. Nice looking run here. He's going to be a pretty good football player. I think he stays healthy. Here's the same play again. Thompson, uh, the, probably the, the biggest positive that came out of this for us, in my opinion, was that, that, we, that, he, that Thompson got his first start. Mm -hmm. He got his first extended carries. Uh, he does fumble one later on here, which we've got to get better at. But 
from the standpoint of going and competing at this level and starting, uh, he found out a few things by himself. To fake the reverse, try to throw a Denson down the middle. They had it covered well. Probably look fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Okay, here's a shuffle pass right here to David Thompson. We get him loose in the open field again. Uh, one of our receivers kind of gets stuffed a little better. He might have scored here. Now we come out, run the sprint draw to him again. Pretty good play. So, so we've moved around. Now we've got the option. Could not get the guy knocked down. Pitch it outside to David in where it looked like we didn't have very much. Now it's third down and about three. We do put Boogie Johnson. I think his knee actually Slip. buckled on him or slipped. Right was? I, it's hard for me to tell. It, 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 we got, and they got the ball knocked loose. We recover it. Lawson Vaughn comes in, kicks a field goal, and we're behind seven to three. We bat this ball down. Funny game from the standpoint of, Tom, uh, the big plays are what get us in trouble, uh, certainly. We, we played in spurts, I won't say well, but it wasn't likely we took the ball and just literally ran right through us every play. Link Harden, 57. Uh, big, big Washington had a, a very good first half. I think he's hurt and gone, but played pretty well for him. Okay, they come back. We've got them covered here. Uh, Handy does a good job of not throwing it into, into a crowd, and, and, and we get a sack. A lot of the stuff they threw early on was quick stuff, uh, play action, these sorts of things. They were able to run the ball again and, and to keep us off balance, but okay, there's there's Gildon, Tyler Williams. Did you feel like momentum might have been restored at this point? Well, at this time, you, did, you didn't sense anything real bad out there. We had stopped them. Uh, it's, it's, we're behind 7-3. to three. We've got pretty good field position here. We're going to have the ball up around midfield. Now come back in, turn around and, and pitch it to Thompson again. You can see it's running hard. So so right now there's there's not any, any indication this thing's going to get way out of hand. Now this this got us in probably Tony scrambles around and throws. This is the first interception that he has thrown as, as a collegiate. Now this this did get us in trouble at this point in time. So, okay, they throw out here and, and we miss a tackle and he makes a first down. They've got the ball in our end of the field. He hit a trap play on us. Again, they're doing a good job of mixing up and running the pass. And here's, a, here's a draw that they drop to drop the ball and, and get it back. And they come around and... This was three plays later. Yeah, okay, they try to run the zone play, and we have it played at the point of attack, and Big Washington bounces to the outside, and we literally cannot get him down. 14-3, to three. the interception gets us in trouble. We had the ball around midfield. At worst, you're going to punt them back down in there, and they're going to have a long way to go uh, while we're still behind 7-3. Right. They played the option pretty well throughout the course of the afternoon. Here's the shuffle pass to Thompson again. He makes a nice run and comes up about a yard short of a first down. These are things that he'll continue to get better at. Tyner really, with the exception of one punt in the second half, I thought did a marvelous job. He hit the ball well throughout the course of the afternoon. Our, our coverage units, uh, by and large, did a good job. They've got a fairly good return game. We run them out of bounds and don't really get anything. Okay, now here's where we start getting some problems. They run the play action and get in behind us. The kid makes a nice catch, but they, without question, had us beat. They're, they're ahead 14 through the quarter changes. A little bit too much time in here, and they dump the ball off. Not anything real dramatic, but they get down here on the goal line. This is the third down mm -hmm. play at the time. They, sure they throw a, a, it's about the same thing and threw it to the other end. Now it's 21-3, and we realistically, yeah, we got problems. So, so we come back out, but here's Thompson again breaking one off. And you can see what we're talking about. He, he had a pretty good uh, game, pretty good first half running the ball. This is a nice-looking run here. We've got a long way to go. We kept bottled up, and they never really necessarily did to help us. Okay, here we go. He's fighting for extra yards. Now the ball gets slung loose, or he gets slung loose from the ball. Missouri's got it down in here. Goes right there. Here they go. Play action over the top of us again. It's a corner, same corner got fooled. That's twice in a row, and two big plays have just knocked us right in the head. Quarterback draw with Tony Jones, and makes it look good little old play, and they nail him pretty good. It's all right. Uh, comes back out, throws a sprint out pass to cover, makes a catch and a first down. They never helped us much in here at all. We threw that, catch it over on the sideline. Got a little something going, but here we, we were going to go deep, and they, they backed off of us. Now Tony comes back out, makes a pretty good-looking scramble. That's where he dumps the ball to Roger Franks. Big Franks playing at fullback, comes up a little bit short. So we come back out. Here's Tony again. It tries to throw a crossing route to Denson. We cannot get loose here. Okay, Lewis Adams, nice run here by Lewis. We played Lewis a little bit at tailback. He did some pretty good things. Roger Franks at fullback, pretty good looking run here. So we're, now we had just enough of this to keep, really keep us pestered. Uh, some of it wide receiver stuff, some of it was on, on the interior people. Now Tony comes out again and wisely, wisely so, throws the ball away. Right in here someplace. Okay, yeah, we get loose. Mm -hmm. Is this the one? 
No, they, okay. I, it looked like Fred Thompson had the ball. Pretty Fred Thomas had the ball. Yeah. Uh, and they, the kid took it away from him. Good job, Norman Williams, number 90. Uh, they come back out here and uh, nothing real dramatic occurring here. We, okay, no, yeah, it does too. Excuse me. Werner strips them of the ball, so we've got it down on the 24 yard line. We come back out, try to run the shuffle again. Fullback gets gummed up in here, doesn't get the block. They hit us in the mouth, we don't get anything. Come back out here. Pretty good time. He throws the ball down the middle, and Shannon Cover can't get it down. Now, ultimately, we're going to block a kick, and probably the same thing would have occurred. It certainly would have probably done our, our morale and spirits mm -hmm. good if we could have offensively got that ball caught and get on into the end zone. And we're going for it on fourth down, and we overthrow Fred Thomas again. Missouri comes out and tries to run a trap. We miss a couple of tackles and get walled off the inside. So this is still Washington. Right, you're still in there. So we, we're going to take a timeout down in here in a while. Okay, we had this punt in here. Boom, Cleavon Williams blocks the punt. Link Harden picks it up and runs in there. Only seconds left in the half. We're down 28 nothing. We did take timeouts. We did have a punt block that we thought we could spring him. There's the highlighted. Cleavon Williams, number eight, does a nice job. He gets turned loose. The thing worked exactly like what it was supposed to have drawn up. Ball bounced right up to 57. Link Harden, and he runs it in. Certainly from the standpoint of you've dug yourself into a hole, but this did give us a little bit of momentum. I won't say we swung the momentum, but it did. And we go for two here and don't make it. Uh, come back out, uh, kick off, they run the clock out. We go in at half, down 28 to nine. But, and again, I won't say we swung, swung the momentum, but from the standpoint of having a, a little bit better feeling about ourselves, knowing that we've still got a chance in the ball game, the, that block kick certainly helped. Well, that game was certainly within reach at halftime, and we're going to be back with second half highlights after this timeout. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. And Pat, early on in the second half, it turned into a field position battle. And we're going to jump ahead to Missouri's second possession, a big play for the Cowboys coming right up. Well, it was our decision to start the second half off. We took the ball. They have stopped us now one series. And, and, and now we punt back to them. They try to go deep. Charles Vernon, safety makes a nice interception here. So we've got the ball around that we had some opportunities. We would have driven it a long way realistically without a lot of big plays, a little bit hard on us. Here's Thompson again, nice job, uh, making five and six yards. We get a call in here, so that's mm -hmm. when he waved off, wasn't it? Uh, no, it wasn't. Either. I'm sorry. Right. We get we get this again was not real good here, from our standpoint. So we've got to go back. He's uh, Tony. We've had a delay on the ball. Get tips. Got got tipped at the line of scrimmage. That happened several times. Tony comes back. And we throw a little out route. They called this incomplete. What was the deal there? Not well, I think possession. The, well, I think I don't think he ever had the ball. Okay. Tom had him right in front of me, and the ball came squirting out. And I, in all honesty, we didn't. Now, we throw the ball deep, try to throw the ball deep. They have it played and, and get it intercepted. The key thing here from the Missouri standpoint was that we're playing pretty good defense in this, in this particular point in time. Missouri, Missouri standpoint is, is we had possessions and couldn't do anything with it. They come back and hit one up to midfield. Like you said, Tommy, it rocked on a long mm -hmm. uh, matter of field position. We, when we had a chance after Werner's interception, we couldn't do anything with it. That was probably the most crucial, I, I thought, turn of events other than maybe the fake kick early in the ball game, it's hard for this football team of ours right now to take it and go 90 unless you can just break off a real big run. And they hit us out of bounds. The guy made a good call. Thompson's all right and get back up. And so we're we're doing a few things, but it's it's, it's the percentages are going to get you when you got to go this this long way, particularly this young club. Okay, Tony comes back out, overthrows this thing. They had it covered pretty well. Come back out, run the sprint out again. Throws it to who's that Culver? Mm -hmm, sure nice, is. nice effort on Culver's part out here. So, so we've got the ball up. Here's a repeat of it. Tony did a pretty nice job of checking. They were giving us some things from the split inside, the weak side, as far as pressure that was giving us a little bit of a problem. Tony did a good job. We thought of, of getting us in pretty good plays and getting us out of things we don't need to. But we turn a guy loose on the inside. We were fixing to go for it on fourth down. That's third down play right mm -hmm. here. If we had done anything other than get hit right in the mouth, then we get hit in the mouth, so, so we got to punt the ball. Missouri's three and out. Cowboys will take it back again. So, so defensively, we have given ourselves a reasonable chance. Throw it to Culver. Let's get up the field. Uh, we come back out, run the fullback, hit a little bit of a crack, make a little bit of yards. Again, I, I thought under the circumstances, Spats and Roger Franks played pretty well. Okay, now we get out there, catch this is it, the drop it, pick it up, or they it, call back right here. It was a okay, I, yeah, uh, they, uh, we, we had a, a motion, somebody jumped in there, I suppose. So we come back, and then Tony is going to do a nice job of getting away from this thing here. 
and throwing the ball down the field. We don't catch it, they had it covered, but he's pretty hard to sack. I mean, he, he's, he's got enough elusiveness to do something with it. There's spats in here. Like I was talking about from the early the early part of it, we got 40, we hit us from the backside. We got all 41 mm -hmm. passes, which is not really our deal right now. Uh, okay, come in and, and Tyner does another nice job of punting the ball. And this will end the quarter. We'll go back the other way and the Cowboys still trying to drive the football. Well, it's 28 to nine and nothing dramatic has happened other than if you're Missouri, their defensive unit has played well and they've kept us from making big plays. Trying to go deep, uh, they've got us covered. Okay, coming back again, throws this ball out here to Culver, make a good good throw, good catch. Okay, Tony comes back out of here, does the same thing again to Chris Lofton. Lofton did a good job. I guess that was something else. Oh, here's this little option, a new wrinkle here mm -hmm. again. We can't get the guy knocked down out here and pitch it and don't end on a real pretty looking play there. But Lofton, that's another freshman that is going to see more playing time. Number 80, ready. Nice, couple nice looking catches. This is where Tony gets rolled up on the ball. That happened right there behind us. Kid just kind of squashed him in the ball. And I, I think probably Tony's hurt a little bit. I'm not sure of the exact stats. He's had a shoulder that bothers him. There went Porter to get his head again. Porter's had a Porter's had an arm that has been hurt uh, really for the last couple of weeks. We'll get a chance to see Tony grab that shoulder as soon as he hits the. Yeah, turf. I could I could see it from it happened right there underneath our feet. And does a good job of not throwing it in the crowd. This is not a cheap shot or anything. The ball just kind of got caught. So you can see him grab his shoulder. He's had a shoulder that has bothered him a little bit. Really, throughout two a days, uh, they, they were called holding the receiver down here. We get a first down. Now, Porter's into the ball game. Porter hurt his arm lifting here a couple of weeks ago and really has not practiced very much. And last week, he felt all right in pregame warm-ups. This, this week here, we didn't even let him. We went down with the punters in pregame warm-up. Mm -hmm. uh, had not practiced, probably should have, might, might should have put Andy Loveland in at, at this point time. He's had most of the repetition sneak and make a first down. But Gary wanted to have a crack at it. So we come back and he makes a couple of pretty good looking throws in here. This is nice, uh, Chris Lofton, the, uh, the freshman from Oklahoma City, who we're gonna get in the ball game more. Made a nice catch, look, good looking catch here. Porter tries, we try to go deep a couple of times. That was that was Fred Thomas right here. Throw it, throw a little flood out of Thompson. We can't get it down. That was one if we could have caught and run off with it and probably made some yards. Gary comes out here on the sprint. We try to go downtown again, overthrow Culver. Certainly, we're trying. We got to do some things to, to get the ball in the end zone quickly. So we come back out, and try to do it again. They've got us covered. You got to give Missouri's people in the secondary credit. Games over. They, there was a couple of meaningless scores right. real late, but you got to give Missouri's defense a lot of credit, particularly in the second half, because we can never really get anything going. Well, the game's over. That one's history. The Cowboys hit the road again next weekend. Travel to Ames, Iowa, and Iowa State. We'll talk about that game when we return to the Pat Jones Show. Welcome back to the Pat Jones Show. And Pat, injuries have really taken their toll the last week or so. Tom, it'll be interesting to see if the two running backs, the fullback Joe Jefferson and Boogie Johnson, the tailback, can get back healthy enough to play. Like I said, well, I think we played them each one play yesterday and they really couldn't get anything done. And they're guys that are important to us. Now, the crucial thing to see is, is, is we might have two quarterbacks hurt. Tony Jones, I don't know the extent of it at this particular time as far as his shoulder. We, we might not have him for a while, don't know. And, and Porter's arm, might preclude playing him and we could have to go to uh, Andy Loveland and Mark Wilson not real sure to take the point Iowa State has had a number of quarterback injuries so that'll get interesting there as far as is, is redefining or, or looking at other goals I, I you you want to just say hey, let's go try to win the next ball game do whatever which I think normally you do might have been my fault a little bit in addressing the squad as far as making sure they understood what was out there mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough as far as getting to a bowl. The point I tried to make to them yesterday, and, and the, the, some of our better teams in other years, some I mean, very good football teams, have started out 0-2 in this league, have ended up 5-2. Uh, and two. Actually, we had one bowl team that, that, that went to Blue Bonnet Bowl at 3-4 and four mm -hmm. back in, in 83. So things can get done. Now, we, we certainly badly need to go to Ames and win. Then we start a two-game home swing here. But uh, that'll be a, a heck of a ball game up there. They're about in the same position we are. They desperately need to win one. We're sitting here at 3-3, three and 0-2 three, oh and two in the league, have got a chance to do something uh, if we can get going. But uh, main, main, main thrust with us is, hey, let's just have a great week. We got some things we got to reprove to ourselves, I think defensively, I think toughness-wise, and let's just go out there and do it and see how tough we can be. I'm sure the youngsters and the coaches at Iowa State will feel the same way. And again, the bottom line is still time to get on a roll, get on a roll, and get into the latter part of the well, season. 
I tend to be goofy enough to think that, that we can go out and win five games in a row. Sure, you'd, you'd have to pull it off. It'd be fairly dramatic, but if you're going to do that, you've got to win the first one. Because Iowa State, unexpected, you expect that when you go to Ames. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's, again, we used to go up there late in the year. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it won't get real bad weather, but I think it's homecoming up it there. Is. They'll pull out certainly all the stops here. We need to try to win one on the road. Need to try to win one. Well, the Cowboys on the road next week against Iowa State. We're out of time for this show. Invite you back next week. For Pat Jones and Oklahoma State University, I'm Tom Dorado. See you next week.